Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a new proposal coming up on the XRP ledger for validators to vote on. It's it's XLS 66 amendment. So XLS means XRP ledger standard. They vote on these new standards for protocols. Like XLS 20 was for NFTs. XLS 30 was for automated market makers, which is now live on the XRP ledger. XLS 66 will be for a native lending protocol empowering on-chain credit origination. So the highlights include simplicity and direct lending, protocol native approach, modular and flexible design. So we're gonna learn more. And I'm gonna put links in the description below so you guys could go even deeper. So lending and borrowing is something that is really exciting to me because it makes these assets even more powerful. If you could actually, you know, uh, leverage your assets and get credit off your assets. And this is what this is all about. And it's all directly native on the XRP ledger. So in developing the world of decentralized finance, lending platforms stand out as a pivotal innovation, dismantling trad traditional financial barriers and establishing a system of transparency and digital and direct digital asset exchange without intermediaries. The new proposal is set to introduce a groundbreaking XRP ledger native lending protocol that is designed to revolutionize how lending occurs on the blockchain. This represents a key advancement as we progressively refine and develop this innovative lending solution on the XRP ledger. The proposal lays the groundwork for implementing a robust decentralized lending protocol directly on the XRP ledger. It introduces a mechanism for fixed term interest accruing loans pulled from collective funds without requiring on chain collateral. This approach relies on off chain underwriting and risk management co coupled with first loss capital protection scheme to secure the protocol. So uh, there is many highlights that we can read and we could learn more how it works. I'm not going to get too technical in this video. We're going to keep it very basic for you guys. I just want to show you that new things are coming. So this is actually the GitHub page too. You can see they're actively working on it. It was just updated three weeks ago. And, and basically they're gonna be reviewing this. It's gonna go on chain. You'll see it eventually here, XRP scan, if you're new to learning about amendments on the XRP ledger. You'll see it here and it's gonna have to hit plus 80% threshold uh, to basically uh, for two weeks to basically go live on the XRP ledger. So we just had the automated market makers and there is, you know, a bunch of XRP being used in liquidity pools already. Uh, there's different platforms. You could access these liquidity pools and more than likely these same platforms that you use. So for example, one of the platforms to access uh, the XRP ledger, like a good interface for the XRP ledger, uh, there are a few, is Sologenic. And so for example, with Sologenic, you're able to access the XLS20 feature, which is NFTs on XRP Ledger, uh, bridging, uh, automated market makers, and soon you'll be able to access the lending protocol probably here and uh, other platforms as well. So I'm pretty excited. You know, uh, if you would have told me that XRP would be priced, like uh, back in, you know, four years ago, if you would have told me XRP would be priced at 50 cents uh, in April 2024. I probably wouldn't have believed you, uh, but there's still a lot cooking and there's still a lawsuit wrapping up, which a lot of people forgot. We won the first half of the lawsuit proving XRP is not a security. There's still another loss, another half of the lawsuit that's wrapping up more of the institutional level. And if we get positive uh, win there, uh, we saw what happened last lawsuit victory, right? Like it's probably going to happen again. Uh, I thought this was a good post I'll share with you. This is Crypto Insight UK said, imagine the smell if XRPL becomes a trusted chain for DeFi for institutions. The automated market makers are here. Native stablecoin incoming. Uh, you got the XLS 66, which we talked about today, lending and borrowing. One of the oldest ledgers, provable track record. So, you know, XRP is the OG DEX uh, chain. It's one of the oldest. The lawsuit is wrapping up. And there is a lot of mass, there's massive emotion around the XRP by both holders that are frustrated. Uh, Cause like I said, I don't think that many people invested it thinking it was gonna be 50 cents in 2024 or in April, you know? 
But things could change very, very fast, just like things change very, very fast. Last lawsuit victory, remember when it went up to 90 cents in a blink of an eye? Uh, then it settled down, definitely. But probably because people realized that it wasn't actually the... It was a... a, a they won the battle, but they didn't win the war, right? So they still had to finish the war against the SEC. So they won the battle, the first victory, proving XRP wasn't a security. But there was still a war to fight. And that's probably why XRP came back down. So uh, let's see if we get a positive victory, uh, what happens. But would Ripple be investing so much in the innovation of the XRP ledger at the moment? Because you also saw Brad just post the XRPL Japan handshake. Ever since they won the lawsuit, I've been noticing that they highlight the XRPL more. They have more focus on the XRPL. But um, why would they be investing in bringing stable coins to the XRPL, uh, lending and borrowing to the XRPL, automated market makers to the XRPL, uh, if they weren't really confident that they would win and succeed? Uh, you know, so uh, I believe that they're building something for a purpose. And, uh, you know, because XRPL is so old, there's no smart contracts on it. So it's super secure and institutions would definitely feel uh, uh, the XRPL is trustworthy. And then XRPL also has all these bridges being created too. So there's a whole ecosystem being developed. You know, you got the Corium bridge, Axler bridge, uh, the Flare bridges are being developed. Uh, so you have all these bridges. There's so much happening. Um, so uh, that's why I really stick with following the innovation that's happening. And I'll get too caught up with everything that's happening on uh the chit chat stuff, you know, but, uh, all right, guys, remember this is not financial advice. Cryptocurrency is very, very risky. Uh, everybody have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next video. I have a lot of content to put out, so please hit subscribe and, uh, peace.